Hey there guys and welcome to Ostriv, a new city building uh, management game that has uh, come out in its first alpha stage very recently, I think even just today or within the last day or two, and I am extremely excited about this. Uh, I'll get more into it as we get into the game here, but this is essentially from what I've seen, I've seen some footage of this and I looked at the website and such, which will be linked in the description if you want to check that out. And I want to also give a big thank you to the dev for providing me with a key to uh, show the game off. And uh, and yeah, so this game, it's essentially something I've been I've been wanting for for years since I was a kid. I had these like dreams of of what I wanted a game to be like. In, in, you know, in a hypothetical world, if I were to design a game, what I would want it to be. And this pretty much seems like what that is. Um, so, main menu here, um, fairly limited options. Again, this is like just released in its first alpha stage. Um, just some basic options and stuff. But we can start a new game and we have three different uh, maps we can choose from here. And uh, these kind of darker patches are the trees and then obviously the river things are rivers. Um, and then the obvious, the kind of almond color back here is just the land. So I can't really decide. I th this one looks cool because it has these two, like, kind of this island in the middle with the trees. I think we could probably build something cool on there. I believe you can build bridges. Um, this one also looks pretty interesting because it, uh, it has a, a very windy type of river through here. Um, but I think... And, and this little thing here is our camp where we first start. But I think I'm going to choose this one because I really like the idea of an island kind of in the middle. Although this one does have an island as well. Actually, let's let's choose. Let's give this one a try. It doesn't have as much open area, which could be interesting. Um, but let's give this a try. So I'm going to leave it playing here. And it's uh, I just I am absolutely in love with the graphics and mechanics of this game. And you will see as we get into the building here. So first off, the graphics are just brilliant. Like the, uh, you can see these women's skirts, all the embroidery on them and the men with their, uh, you know, their shirts and stuff. And then, you know, the camp, it's just so detailed um, that it's just brilliant. I love it. And uh, okay, so we kind of have a very windy type of river here that comes through and we obviously have these little forested areas and the river goes around. It's quite a large map when you look at the size of this compared to our camp. Um, but we start, there's even like a well here and just wait until you see the actual building of things. It's, it's uh, absolutely amazing. So like I said, this is a city builder, uh, very similar to Banished if you've played that, that type of thing. I've never actually played Banished, uh, but I picked this one up instantly simply because of the uh, building mechanics and stuff that I saw that just kind of made me reminisce of what I had wanted for the longest time. So first thing here is it wants us to build a forestry for wood production. So if we go, we have production, water, houses, um, trade and transport, government, decoration, and I believe these three are still in progress. Uh, now, sorry if there are some quick camera movements. I cannot adjust this as of yet. Uh, the game does not have an option for that. But if we go in here, uh, forest, forestry. So it produces wood and firewood from nearby trees. It requires 74 wood and 148 nails. If we look up here, we have a little bit of water, 100 wood, 12 thatch, 10 iron, and 1,600 nails. I really love the concept of using nails. I've never really played a game before that uses like such like detailed uh, building materials and mechanics. And this is what I've wanted for a really long time. So if we if we grab this and you can rotate it by holding R, uh, let's, let's see if, cause we're gonna need houses and stuff. This is a nice wide open area. I'm not sure if you can just like clear cut trees. So I'm gonna try to reserve open areas for like houses and stuff. But I think a good place for the forestry would be perhaps somewhere over here. Now these, can't be placed in trees. Okay, so you see the like red lines above the trees that so we, we can't place there. We can, however, place it right up against them. And watch that, I absolutely love this. So shows here, laborers are getting resources on site. And if we click on this, um, we have three laborers assigned. They all have their names and I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. I am very bad with names to begin with. And these 
are uh, very authentic, uh, you know, names to uh, the origins of this. This takes place in 1722, uh, I believe, so, like in Ukraine or, or whatever that may have been at this time period. Um, so I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but it looks like we're waiting on wood and nails. Obviously, they're getting the resources and then you can assign workers, you can demolish and pause it. But what I absolutely love is the detail that goes into this. And the, the, the develop, this is made by one person, and he, he's just done an amazing job so far because a lot of games have, like, kind of built simulated building. Like, you know, it'll show, like, one step, and there will be some, like, you know, dust and stuff flying, and then it will just appear in, like, the next stage. This actually shows the people building this, and this is the part that I had wanted. Like, you know, I, I, it mostly kind of sprouted from when I played Rise of Nations a long time ago, because it had pretty cool building mechanics, but I was just, you know, way back when I was like, you know, I'd love it if there was a game where the workers would actually come over and bring the materials and you would actually see them placing things, putting the logs in, carrying the logs over. And this is exactly that. As you can see, you see every single step almost that goes into this. And there's currently no music. Uh, we hear some birds uh, near the forest here and... Uh, obviously all the working sounds, but as this goes further in, it's just absolutely amazing how um, how detailed the building process is for this. So it wants us to do this. Once we do this, we're probably gonna want some houses. Now, currently there's only a village house. I would imagine um, more will come in the future. Like I said, very early, but even so, there are still so many um, production type of buildings here. And I'm just gonna watch this for a second because I mean, I could watch this all day, and it's really loud when you zoom in, but you're actually seeing the building being built, and I just cannot get over how cool this is. I've never played a game, and I've played a lot of simulation building games. I've never played a game before that actually has this level of detail in the construction of things. And it's just absolutely, it's absolutely awesome. I love it. And then you're going to see them put the... Uh, rafter beams in here, the trusses. There we go. So, I mean, it skipped a little bit at the end there, but it's just it's so cool. So, production limits, log 12, firewood 200, fire or wood 200, firewood 200. So, I don't think anyone will work at this unless we assign workers. So, if we, to open vacancy. Okay, so it looks like one person is going to be assigned here. Uh, let's go ahead and assign one more person. And I believe this does have gender um, limited jobs, uh, whereas the women will not actually work most of these jobs. They just kind of chill in here by the fire. They may work some uh, more gender, I don't want to say gender appropriate, because I, you know, nowadays, and me personally, I don't really believe in that. But, you know, back then, of course, that was a thing. So they may work in, uh, you know, like the... Uh, weavers or tailor shop or shoemakers potentially stuff like that um, rather than you know the wood cutting or the fishing or something so we now have this and now they want us to build houses for all families in the camp so we have a, i'm not sure why this says 22 when there's eight adults maybe we have four children and it just doesn't show them because they can't really do anything that's maybe potentially it um we have 10 people total looking for jobs, four men and seven women, six women. Well, one of these women is doing something. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but we need to build some houses. So let's go ahead and grab a house. And we, we don't have to have them all together. It might be nice to have a few little houses around here. So if we rotate this, um, let's, let's, yeah, let's actually stick a house right here. And there's something else extremely cool about this game. I'm not going to give it away, but you'll notice as we continue through, you'll notice something happening, which is another mechanic I've never really seen used in a game before. And it's, it's really, really neat how this works. Um, so just kind of, you'll notice it as it happens. Uh, and, and then I'll obviously point it out once it does. So we need to build some houses. Um, in terms of our materials, it looks like we are getting water. I don't, are, is, are people actually going here to get water in the graph? Like, Look at all these reflections and shadows. It's just, I mean, honestly, I could just sit here and drool for on <laughs> drill at this for like three hours straight. But um, 
you know, we can also trade. We have a granary trading post, Mark Stahl, Bridges, a Hay Barrack. Um, we, I also saw in here a, not there, um, in here a, a Hay Dryer even. Um, when you place Hay Dryer's laborers or cow shed workers, workers will mow nearby grass and leave it for drying to produce hay. Hay's uses food for animals in the winter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, this is so cool. Okay, so... Um, this thing, uh, there's no workers, but there should be labors. Are we, oh, we can't, we need clay. Okay. So there's a clay pit here, a place for digging clay. So let's go ahead and place this. Um, uh, let's, let's place this actually maybe, maybe over here, here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so bad at making decisions. Um, let, let's place this over here. Okay, so we now have a clay pit, um, stored uh, nearly 10,000 clay, reserve six. So when it says stored, and when this reserve goes down, I wonder if it's going to decrease this. I'm not quite sure how that works. It doesn't look like it's something I can assign workers to. Um, I'm wondering if when this number goes, okay. So it looks like maybe this pit, this clay pit will actually become unusable once it goes below this amount and we may need a new one uh, potentially which is fine. Um, I'm just going to watch this house being built again. You see the foundation and the, and the floor struts here being built. All the walls, the studs. This is just so cool. And I mean, we're on a higher speed too. I mean, this would be probably even more uh, awesome watching at a normal speed, but we are going to pick it up here. They're throwing the walls on and the roof struts here struts i know it's not the actual i just had the name in my head now i forgot again um trusses that's a word and they're even building a chimney you can see there in the middle that's what that is little thatch roof and boom we now have a house so it looks like so they have a wealth number potatoes so they do have some food we don't have food here but it looks like maybe that'll come later um so there's names i can't pronounce <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and it looks like uh, she is unemployed and he's in the camp center. So let's go ahead. We're going to need some thatch, I believe. So let's um, build a thatch or tannery thatchery. So I believe they get thatch from these reeds over here. And can't build on water. Okay, let's back him up a little bit. There we go. And also, uh, like, a, uh, yeah, so like I said, the website will be in the description and you can get the game uh, now if, if you would like. It's $20, I believe, US, um, and it's not through Steam as of yet, but it's uh, through Humble Bundle. Um, so it's it's like the Humble Bundle little widget thing where you can get it through there. Um, and yeah, it probably converts, you know, to amount for your currency, uh, but $20 US, which I think is pretty awesome. And uh there's lots of stuff on the roadmap, you know, that, you know, like all this stuff is on the roadmap. So I'm sure it will come even as, even now it's, uh, I think plenty of content for me, at least I could just sit here and watch it all day. Um, so we just auto saved. Uh, I would imagine this can support children. It's like the children aren't even listing listed rather. Um, so migration status, water supply is sufficient. No market, no housing, no jobs available. So, I think we need some more houses. Let's go ahead and build another house. You can see the fences even connect there if we want. Do we want that? I think we want a little bit of space. Can I like, it'd be cool if there was a, a reverse rotate maybe. Let's, let's build him over there. And I don't know if you guys are starting to notice what's happening, but it, what I mentioned a few minutes ago, do you notice how this ground is starting to get worn down this is just so so cool as they walk on the ground it wears down the grass and creates its own paths you cannot to my knowledge build paths in the game but you don't need to because they're naturally worn down which is just like the realism is what gets me with this right i mean that's how it works you know if it's like a deer trail you know like when you go hiking or something and you find a deer trail i mean that's what happens you know is it the ground is walked on enough and the grass gets you know Stump, stepped on and kind of beaten down and then finally just stops growing and it becomes you know dirt or gravel or, or sand or whatever's here 
and I just love this mechanic of the game. And you'll see them more and more developed. You know, there's a very light one here, which the more they walk on this area, the more it will uh, it will show up. So let's hire someone at Thatchery now. It's currently hiring. Do we? So we don't have any men looking for jobs, and I would imagine that's because they're all working here. One labor. Two. I feel like we're short some people. So we have nine men. Right? Yeah, we have nine men, but there's two, four, one, five. There's still some missing. Maybe they're just like, maybe they work in here potentially. So he's going and collecting the reeds and then check that out. It even sticks reeds, like little bundles of reeds. I actually probably, can I like, damn. I could demolish it. I wanted it actually facing the other direction. Whoopsie. That's okay. Um, so they're bringing some clay. Oh man, this is so cool. So let's see. We're going to need more houses because if this supports a couple, we actually need nine houses then. That's a lot of houses. Uh, for all families. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Uh, can't build that there. That's going to kind of block the path to anything I want down there. So perhaps we should start spreading out a little bit. Let's go ahead and build another house. Let's rotate this and kind of let, let's build a house like over here. This house is nearly done. Uh, how are we doing material rise? We still have over 1100 nails. We have iron. Now I don't know. I don't see anything in here to collect iron. Uh, oh, an oil workshop even. Yeah, so I'm not sure how we get some of these materials yet, but uh, wood we're definitely good on, water we're pretty good on, thatch we could use more of. I'm wondering why, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he knows. What what, what are you doing here in, in here, bud? So he just took the thatch out. I, I really have actually no idea. Um, open vacancies. So he's slowly getting it. Um, thatch, how much were our houses again? Thatch three. We have how much? 9.4. Did you acquire 100 nails, 50 wood? How much wood did we have? Actually, we could maybe use more wood and then clay. We, ha well, we have a ton of clay. Uh, this has two people. You can even see them like carrying the trees in and sticking it here to be chopped up. Okay, so this house is now done. Fantastic. Uh, so va open vacancies. I don't, I guess that means like everywhere that's open for men, because if only men can work, so this, this would be what? Three, six, and then one somewhere else <laughs> over here, maybe. Um, yeah, so that's probably how that works. This house actually looks like it's near completion. These little bars I'm not quite familiar with yet, but uh, laborers are getting resources on site. Okay, sweet. So he just brought over a few pieces of wood. And uh, I mean, we could queue up some more houses, I suppose. Did I build this the right way? Probably not. <laughs> oh no, that was facing that way. Actually, we could, how do I want to do this? We could actually have this face kind of inwards. I don't, it's not really the best use of space, but having them in a little kind of square like this would be kind of cool maybe. You know, then there's of course room still back here and stuff for them. Okay, so he is working. Thatch is going up. Let's bump up the game speed. We are in May. Uh, now there is winter and stuff. We will want to try to get as many houses or all the houses preferably built uh, that we can before we reach the winter. Otherwise, I think people are going to leave or just die. <laughs> so either way is not good. Um, I think this is just our main objective now is to get these houses built. And I think it's really just a limitation of, of manpower here. Obviously, there is a, you know, migration, but we don't have a market or the housing available. Um, a market. Is that in production? 
cow shed, slaughterhouse. I don't even see a market. I don't know how you get animals either. Just built another house. So why? We have a town hall. Granary trading. Oh, market stall. Duh. <laughs> Cart parking. That's what uh, this is over here. And uh, yeah, so you can see these paths right here starting to get a bit more worn, which is awesome. They burn in a little fire. They have a tiny bit of water. I don't know where they get water or something. I mean, the well, obviously. Oh, I guess that would be good. Filled, reserved, stored. Not quite sure what the difference is, but we have water, so that's good. Um, so these are where they're, this is where the cur is currently staying. Um, camp storage. Okay. And this is camp center. Oh, we have a mayor. And there's even, uh, like, so if you click... If you click on someone, you can show their path, which is really cool. Kind of see where they're going, what they're doing. Um, you can also follow them, of course. And then uh, you can find where they live even. So he lives here. Uh, can I actually click on a person just straight up? Yeah, I can. Awesome. So they live in a tent. Okay. Does anybody here actually live in the house? They live in a tent. They live in a tent. <laughs> Where the hell are the people who live in this house? Zlata. Isn't that who we just clicked? Maybe not. Yeah, that's who we just clicked. Why are you living in a... Oh, there are two of them? Apparently there's two people with the same name. Nice. Alright. Uh, so this house just finished. This house just finished. Uh, I guess time for more houses, huh? Let's, uh, let's actually, yeah, let's just create, like, a little tiny housing area over here. Uh, I'm starting to regret this. <laughs> starting to regret this decision. Um, actually, somewhere over here, let's rotate again. I wonder, I'm scared to hit keys, but I don't know if there's, like, a reverse rotate. Let's, uh, hmm, hmm. This was not the best planning. <laughs> uh, let's see, can I fit one over here? I'd really like to fit one back here, but I... Actually, yeah, I could fit one back here. It'll be a little tight, but that's okay. So, we got one there. It's what were we, we were May last time I looked, so June. It's gonna be kind of close, because we only have four out of nine houses. This will be our fifth. Uh, I, I mean, we could, well, there's obviously more to build, but I kind of want to focus uh, purely on housing because that is, you know, it's our objectives, our objective, and then also, oh, windmill, oh man, that's so cool. Um, and then uh, also we we want houses before winter, so I would imagine we would need more wells at some point too, as as our population grows. So let's uh, let's see, fishing dock, boatyard, cow shed. I'm just looking at all the pretty buildings. A smithy, a carpentry. Oh man, I love this. A tannery. Tailor's workshop, weaver's workshop. This oil workshop looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at that. It even has like a little gate and stuff. A boat yard, hay dryer. Slaughterhouse. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we need to work. Uh, so we have, what, five houses? Yeah, this planning was um, unfortunate. I could throw another house back here, actually. It'll probably end up getting flooded, knowing my luck. Um, but we'll throw it back here anyways. Uneven terrain. Wow. Second thought, we won't. Uh, we could throw one here, though. Kind of pass. I, I wonder if there is a reverse rotate. I, I tried Shift R, didn't really do what I wanted. Okay, that's that's pretty close. Let's throw one in here, and then that way there's still room to walk through this way, and then we can you know expand out as we go. And uh, how are we? We're doing good on wood. Thatch is terrific. Nails are depleting. I should have given us enough nails for all the houses, right? Yeah. It would be ridiculous if it didn't, if we can't make nails yet. Well, we can. We actually have 10 iron. You can make nails at the smithy, 
So if we need be, we could. Um, these guys have a tiny bit of firewood, water, potatoes, and flour. Very bland diet. Um, but hopefully we can get some animals and start giving them some meat and stuff. Main menu. World map. Oh, wow. Alpha 1 note. Current version of the game has simplified world map for easier debugging. It will be improved in following versions. So here's our city. Oh, man, that's so cool. So here's like the trade routes. There's... Bal oh, gosh. I'm so bad with names. I'm sorry. I'm going to butcher this. Balaklia. And, well, this is part we covered up. Dorhachi, our city, and then Marefa, I think. That's an E-R. And, and it looks like these are trading routes. Actually, I highlighted. Oh, no, that's our city. So if I click this. Distance, six days, no active deals. 16 days. 18 days. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Oh, it's the wrong button. Sweet, okay, so boom, 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 that's six houses. Let's go ahead and build, this was um, support planning. Can I, <laughs> I really want to demolish that house and move it. I actually really want to, okay. Set back, oh, I can't demolish houses, oh dear. Someone just start, can, can we get our uh, arsonist from kingdoms and castles in here and just burn down the house and then redo it? I mean, we can create like a little weaving city block thing, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so... Do we need more wood, I wonder? I mean, we have a lot of firewood. We have a lot of thatch as well. Probably could have this guy take a break from thatch and go do other stuff. So I just right-click to fire. And, uh, let's see. Nails, clay, we got, obviously, a ton of clay. Uh, wood, water is gathering itself, and then... Yeah, food is not displayed, but maybe that's because we can't pr actually produce it quite yet, so they just kind of have enough food for now. So we're in August, September, October. We have a lot, like maybe two or three months before it starts getting cold and stuff. It's snowing. I don't know what the seasons were like in this part of the world at that time, or if that's taken into account, but it would not surprise me based on the level of detail and other stuff in here. And you can start, you can see these roads, like these are now very worn paths in here and, and kind of just this general area and then you know a bit lighter out here into the houses even up to the front door which just take a closer look at these it's just so so lovely I love it hey this dude these dudes got a porch oh they even oh these are actually different I'm just oh man <laughs> Because, like, see, this one's the same as this one, but this one actually has a porch, and then this one's the same, except it actually has a roof over the porch. This must be, like, maybe... Oh, does the wealth matter? Now, these guys are actually a higher wealth, and they have, like, the crappiest house here. Um, the wealth may actually take something into account. These, have, this, these people's wealth has actually grown, and is continuing to grow. I'm not sure what role that plays in things. Just finished another house. Fantastic. That's what, seven? Uh, I don't want to block myself in here, but... I'm going to block myself in. <laughs> I don't want to block myself in, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah, this is a bit of a wonky town. Well, let's just not worry about it. We'll, we'll build a good town. We'll build a, a better town here. And it looks like this is maybe our border. Which, I mean... This is still like an absolutely massive area to build on. Okay, so here's our border, but you know, we can still go all the way over there. Comes back this way. We can build on that side of stuff. Where is our border to the left? Looks like in here. Okay. I mean, that is still a huge area to build in. And I mean, I could make this a lot more compact. I'm just being silly and, and not doing that. Ooh, we're already in September. That's not good. So, and I think this is like how far through the month we are. Not good. Someone may die. One f one family may not make it. Let's actually just place this down so I don't forget. Because this will be our eighth house. We need this last one. And I do need to end this episode. It will be a bit longer, but I am just, I'm having a blast. Uh, and I want to see what happens once we get our houses. What our next objective or kind of guidance tip will be here. Because... I'm not really sure what all needs uh, 
needs doing to progress here. So October, probably things will start getting colder. What is this waiting on? Waiting thatch. Do we use all of our thatch? Probably. No, we still have 14. We should still be good on thatch. And I fired this person, so he should be working um, on this. Construction in progress. They're slowly getting to it. Woo! Is that done? Oh, this has... Okay. So it looks like there's some variation in the houses. Uh, this guy will be done, and then that should be the last house we need. How are we doing on wood? Awaiting... So our firewood is going down a little bit. These people's wealth is continuing to increase. Well, I mean, everyone's wealth, I think. Wait, did these guys go down? Weren't they at like 10? I think everyone's going up, which is good. These people aren't really increasing that. They just went down. I wonder what... Um. Oh, does that maybe... I wonder if that's influenced by their jobs. Like, I mean, obviously wealth is influenced typically by your job, but <laughs> I don't know if the game takes that into account, maybe. I mean, the, the women in here are not employed at all because we don't have any jobs for them, but maybe like working at the camp center provides, because that's what he does. Maybe that provides like more income than working at like constructing a house or something. I don't know. That would actually be pretty awesome. Uh, if, if it took that type of stuff into account. Um, so it has nails and clay stored. It looks like we're still waiting. Now, I don't know the difference between a laborer and a worker, necessarily. Hmm. Is awaiting wood. We're almost into November. Really, sh I think it's going to start snowing here soon. This may be, like, perfect timing to uh, get this done. Oh, there's even, like, wood on the... Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love this. All right. It's like they're finishing it up. Boom. Build houses. Oh, see? So it just disappeared. Although, I didn't get a next thing. What what, what do I do next game? <laughs> Uh-oh. That, that's all it gave me for, for tips? I guess we'll just uh, freestyle it from here. We'll probably get... Um, there's a fishing dock we'll probably want, because I don't know, like, maybe a cow, place for breeding cows and milk, so maybe we just, like, get cows from this. When you buy, oh, okay, so you buy cattle. We'll be assigned to a cow shed with more space. Make sure the cow shed is staffed and has stock of hay and water before cattle arise. In summer, cows can graze on a pasture. Use add pasture button to add one. Oh my gosh, this is so much stuff. They can also pasture on follow farm field if you allow to do so. Breeding you need at least one bull per cow shed. You can also turn bulls to oxen for use as draft animals. Oh, this is so cool, guys. And then, like, so the cow shed. What about... There's no tool tip for getting iron. I'm not sure how we get iron. We'll have to figure that out. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, want to see more. Definitely... As I say that, I'm distracted because, oh my god, dude, it's like, it's be, it's, be, it's beginning to become fall and you can even see all the trees are dropping their leaves that are colored, you know, like the reds and the browns. I, I am truly blown away by the level of detail and realism in this game. Uh, anyway, please let me know down in the comments uh, any thoughts you have. If you want to see more, I'm going to be playing this uh, definitely either on my own or recording it, hopefully recording it if you guys want to see it. And uh, I can't wait to see what else we can do with this. Anyway, Ostriv, check it out. Link in the description. And uh, thank you again to the dev for providing me with the key. I'm absolutely loving this game. Uh, and if you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like. But until next time, guys, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.